Good morning, Internet, and good morning, fellow Lalanders. I feel I need to say a special thank you to fellow Lalanders, as uh, as my tiny channel has a few more subscribers now. I owe that a lot to the wonderful people I meet at the chats in uh, both Chateau vlogs, uh, even on Tomas's vlog, um, also now um, Escape to Rural France's vlog, Dan the Gardener. So it's good to just say. Hello fellow launders and I'm glad to have you here in my garden this morning. Uh, so today uh, we are going to be looking at my drawing that I've, I was really excited about the response that I got from all of you for the drawing I did for Far Too Many Ian's, my made up book <laughs> for Chateau Lalande's Pijix. And um, today I'd like to share with you the final um, outline like the final inking that I have and today I think I will try to capture video capture me doing the final um, pastel and oil in in that line work to see the final piece because I really would like to get that off soon um, because I know that Stephanie has quite a queue of um, gifts and I mean she may not even see it till Christmas time who knows so I thought today would be fun to uh, share that drawing with you and so today's video is probably just going to be more screen capture of me doing my drawing. So, all right, let's get to that. Here is the final piece in its inked stage where I've outlined everything in either a bold line or a finer line for detail. And next comes the underpainting. And here I'm using digital oil. And I like to underpaint in um, the colors fairly close to what the uh, top layer colors will be as opposed to underpainting in one solid shade. I like to use um, a very buildup of colors as I get closer to what the final look will be and then I lay details over that and then highlights and lowlights over that. Um, I'm really excited about this project because it's been so exciting getting to meet all of you whom I've met a lot on the chat and it makes me feel even more connected to Lalande, as I know many of you have also not been actually been to Lalande yet. So it's just a, such a great escape for all of us. So uh, this is, whole project has just made it really fun for me. And then here I'm still underpainting, and then I begin to add a little bit more detail, just little touches of color until I go in for the final detail. And uh, I'm not sure if you'll notice, but I changed the pattern of the fabric from what it was in the sketch, which is just a rough idea, to I actually went and chose two types of Fortuny fabric, one with a bird pattern and another with just a, almost like a fleur-de-lis design. And then I used that same pattern on all the birds. And that will become clear once I do the central illustrations. It will be connected to the story. So here you can see I'll have underpainted with sort of salmon pink and then I go in with about four shades just to touch up each of those separate feathers just to kind of give you an idea of how I do that. And then again the underpainting is basically in the color the final um, item will be. Um, but then you, I'll go back in and see and add a high, lighter colors here, darker colors there to kind of bring out the depth of the, the look. Um, and I was really excited to, to do the uh, double Fortuny fabric because the idea of using the Fortuny fabric on the birds is, is going to be tied into the storyline. Again, I don't know if I'm going to write an entire story, but for the other two or three pages I'd like to write and then illustrate, I think it will make sense. Um, and here you can see I've, you know, I've underpainted and added some details, but now I'm going in and doing uh, what I call the highlights and the lowlights. So I will lighten up areas where the sun would be hitting it, darken up areas where the sun is not hitting it or shadow is hitting it, and then kind of build up the color that way. And uh, even though the colors are in reality somewhat, I like to heighten them a bit um, just because I really love to play with color. So it's like reality, but a little bit turned up a notch. Um, and I'm using pastel on uh, digital pastel on an artist canvas background. And then here I'm calling it done enough that I'm going to be signing my name. So here I'll put my signature in and then um, we'll call it done. And I just need to say as an artist, I, a painting will never be done. It could never be done. At least for me, I could faff about forever and never finish a thing but I've had to really teach myself to get to a level that I can say this is finished and I've stopped and that's what I've done here. So if it looks unfinished to anyone else I apologize but this is the level to which I'm calling this cover illustration done. And I've also decided that I'm going to send this out to get printed and send it out to Stephanie straight away with a lovely note and then I'm going to do the two or three other illustrated pages from the inside as a separate gift just because I'm really excited to get this out and that way I can send it off and um, 
for my own selfish reasons, because I love to watch Kato at the Chateau. So when it finally comes my turn that she'll get to my gift, it will be exciting to see. Um, and then I'll do the interior illustrations um, later as a separate gift, uh, just to see if I like the idea of writing the story, even though, as I said, it's mostly just going to be a story for uh, just for my own enjoyment. I'm not sure if you can hear, but I'm recording quite early in the morning and the gulls are coming in and feeding. I kind of hope it's picking up because I always try to get that sound for the vlog, but I never quite capture it. Anyway, so that's me finishing the illustrated cover for Far Too Many Ian's. Um, so let's close out this video. Well, I hope that was a uh, interesting video of me filling in my ink and such. I do, uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out, obviously, as an artist and a gardener. A piece of artwork is never done, nor is a garden ever done. Um, if I don't stop, I'll just putz and faff about forever and I'll never finish a garden, which is fine. The garden needs to be unfinished forever, I think. And I'll never finish any artwork. And that is a different story than the garden because I need to send artwork off into the world. My garden can just stay here. Uh, however, I guess I'm sending out into the world through my vlogs, but I don't have to pick it up and put postage on it. So um, I'm going to send that out. Oh, and I want to a query you as well since it's going to take a while for me to get the things printed and then shipped and such do you think I should find a way to um, when I finish the other drawings to let Chateau Lalon know that I have done this as a gift and possibly let them know about it digitally just because I'm excited to see their response which is of course selfish of me just to wait to see if they like it or not um, or should I just wait and send it as a physical piece um, I think if I were to send it digitally through the um, their mail like through Patreon just to let them know I'm you may have something coming. Maybe I could just share a snippet of it or something. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think about that idea. All right. Well, thank you for joining me. And on Wednesday, we are going to be doing more drawing. In this case, I'm going to be sharing you the sketch of the other two pieces because I think overall I want it to be a triptych with the, um, the cover in the center and then on either side will be two interior or inside illustrations of the book, which of course the book does not exist, but I'm going to put text and stuff in it as if the book has been written. Um, all right, well, thanks for joining me today at uh, An Artist's Life, and I will be seeing you in chats and socials and Aunt Lalonde and Escape to Fran Royal France, all those places that I love to meet up with all of you. All right, uh, thank you for joining me here at An Artist's Life. Cheers.